to the bike man. Do the bike man. Do the bike man. Last name Simpson, first name Bart. first began playing video games, the music in the video games wasn't taken too seriously. In fact, music was pretty minimal. Many games were played silent and if there was music in the game, it was the last thing to be programmed in and on the Commodore 64, of course, sometimes that even slowed down with the speed of the game. My jaw dropped when I heard voice speech samples in this music and I wondered what the future might hold for music in computer games. When I first got my Amiga I didn't really appreciate the music capabilities but you can see this is Octomed and a few very clever people took the samples from a real world keyboard and transferred them sample by sample onto the Amiga just like this. Ordinarily, this collection of instruments wouldn't mean very much, but by laying those in order, we can create a track using a tracker program, and again, some very, very, very clever people managed to transpose original pop songs that were available in the 1990s, verbatim, onto our computer. This is one of those, and you may recognise it, and you may not, but the end result of all this is a pop song which you might even recognise. Back in the Commodore 64 it is, this music to me absolutely blew my mind and it was possible for the first time to have a music collection on the Amiga and this is the demonstration of some of those tracks that I've managed to find yes that was too unlimited and you can see Get Ready, No Limit Tribal Dance, Twilight Zone and of course Workaholic I managed to find one of my favourite musical tracks of all time is on the Amiga and you can see just by browsing this directory that I've managed to cobble together, some of these are music mods which remind me of full music tracks. Of course, Gods needs no introduction. You may notice Kid Gloves and Intact is there, the intro beat, Mega Phoenix and Super Space Invaders that we reviewed, as well as Bomb the Bass, of course, which was based on a real song. So let's just check out those dance tracks, and I can't play any of these because I will be stricken off YouTube forever. But you can see various directories, Madonna, Michael Jackson, The Pet Shop Boys, and some unknown tracks, which I will we'll return to a little bit later. But you can see all these are pop songs that people have transposed onto the Amiga all the way through. And for me, it was like having a virtual jukebox at the time. And of course, I only had a fraction of these at the time. Hadaway, What Is Love, virtually everybody had that, that I knew of. And um, The Night Train as well, and Louis Louis, The French Kiss, of course pretty dirty, raunchy version, and other amazing number 10, number 20, number 1 dance tracks, even the Spice Girls. So you can see I've managed to collect a fair few of them, and in the miscellaneous ones, well, there are some that didn't quite make it because they're not quite real enough. And sometimes you can get rare estimations, you can get virtual one-to-one -one copies, and Enigma, in this case, didn't fit in with the dance tracks. 
and well james brown you can see i've no idea what that james brown track is and some of those work on pro trackers some of those will only worked in Optimed, and some of them will only work in med player It's a classic James Brown track and you can see Octomed doesn't play it very well so I think this is a pro tracker song and some of these aren't quite up to muster so I've put all the old soul rounds in a separate directory. tried all of these in the VLC player in PC Windows and they all play on VLC. Unfortunately, well, most of those don't like Octomed, but we can get Adamski's Killer playing. <laughs> The unknown category, there are songs which I'm sure are real songs, but I've no idea what the name of those are, so I've put those in unknown. And this is where you can actually help me out, because I've archived all of these mods, that you can see in this video, and I've linked that in the description. So if you play those, let me know what they are. And so let's check out the next one, it's the House Acid and, well, Techno Beats kind of a module directory, and some of these you may be familiar with, 808 State, Utah Saints, and there are some mega mixes in there, some Deep Chill, some various remixes of LA Styles, James Brown is Dead, the KLF, and the Prodigy, and you may think, well, what's in the Prodigy? Well, everything, basically, all the Charlie mixes that were ever released virtually, Firestarter, No Good, Out of Space, Smack My Bitch Up, Voodoo People, their law, wind it up. It's all there. Every single famous track by the Prodigy is there, and these remixes are unavailable to buy in the shops, only on the Amiga are these actually available. So these are one in a lifetime kind of mixes, and those sound good enough to be seven inch to me. And all of these are actually, well, mixes and remixes of popular tracks. Josh Wink and Techno Head, and The Movement, and The Shaman, Ebony is good, you may remember that, Utah Saints, and yes, those are clips of real music, sometimes they are samples verbatim, and sometimes they are made out of clips like the module that you saw, and any unknown ones in the hip hop and acid directory, well I've shoved them in here, and putting them all in here means that I can show all you guys, and if you actually remember what the name of these are, and you find out what the name of these are, let me know, and then I can rename them and get them out of unknown. Taking a look at rock, we find a limited number of directories, but I managed to find all these Metallica songs, at least all those that I could recognise and remember the name of, so I could look them up, and a few Deep Purple Smoke on the Water, I couldn't find any more Deep Purple than that, and surprisingly few Pink Floyd, unfortunately, and there's a few unknown ones as well that sound like they could be real songs, but I've no idea what they are, and the rest, well, I managed to find a great remix of Clawfinger and also the original Crownberries, the rock version, Judas Priest, a little bit of Megadeth, Rage Against the Machine, and one Pantera song I managed to find on the internet. Again, this one doesn't work in Octomed and it played fine in VLC, so I'm not quite sure what's wrong with a few of these, but Module is a rough estimation of what they are and they could be playing on any number of tracker programs. VLC will virtually play them all except for the MED ones, and that's a shame, but MED ones do work in Octomed, which is great. 
So let's switch over to a different track and hopefully one which isn't going to give me a YouTube strike and I'm not quite sure whether any of these would be appropriate for that and yes, some of those, oh, unfortunately that didn't work but um, some of those are in absolutely instrument perfect some of those are only rough estimations so Paradise City is kind of a theme on a theme TV and movie director, we find Airwolf and a few Simpsons Bartman, a few from Benny Hill, and the usual candidates, well, Das Boot, everybody played that back in the day, as well as the Highlander theme, which doesn't play on Octomed, various James Bond themes, as well as some based on Star Wars, and I notice even Blackadder there, Street Hawk, and well, the theme from Taxi, I've no idea whether that's actually real, and the Terminator, some of those sound really good indeed. So some of these are based on the actual themes, and some of those are better than others, and many of them, it seems, won't play in Octomed, which is an absolute shame. But I know this one will, so let's play this. Quite a few modules directories to be getting on with in the pop scene, but also we have all of these as well. And in the groove and funk, I've managed to collect a few of those together, and that might be interesting to some people. And some sort of light listening, maybe some chill out music. And so you can see I've managed to compile some modern hardcore as well. For those who are into modern hardcore, these are not songs, but they sound very much like it and some Amiga modules from back in the day, which sound almost good enough. They will be hardcore, and this isn't a hardcore track, but some are more hardcore than others and some of those really do sound more modern than others and some of those are broke, unfortunately, which is disturbing because they used to play before. Unfortunately, with some of these, I have no idea if they're actually playing at the right speed or not because I don't actually like that kind of music. So let's switch over to a different one and let's continue to explore our archive. modules require Daily Tracker or Octomed 6 or Pro Tracker and some of those I've fished out into their own directories and you can see some more as well you can see in the Crack Troll directory that we have quite a few Crack Trolls by different people not all of them but Skid Row obviously people remember this one This tune almost got used for my caveman special some time ago. games directory you'll find a huge number of games all in their original module format and so that's a huge big directory and some even of the Kefruns modules from the Kefruns music tracks and the mega demos all are in their Kefruns directory and some med files which will play in Octomed they're all in their own directory and so well most of those are anyway there's a one or two in the pop songs which I uh, can't play ordinarily but they will play in Octomed and so that's great <laughs>
if you want all of the mods that you've seen in this video just check out the link in the description and you can download the entire lot if you can help me with any of the unknowns that's great if you can help me with any of the tracks that i'm missing then that's great and otherwise well this video has been a blast down memory lane and it's unfortunate that I can't play all of the amazing rock songs and pop songs and dance tracks that were very lovingly carved onto our Amiga machine. But you can see various other mods have been stored in the various other mod player directory and also we have some old time mods and some mods I managed to collect back in the day. Most of these are classic mods that I managed to collect and so there's some ancient property and some archived antiques in that directory and even the grapevine discs are presented in this archive So, thank you for checking out this video and hopefully reminiscing when music in the charts was just as good on your computer, on the Amiga, when the PC at the time was a beeping machine. And so, you can show off to all your friends and have a rave thanks to all this module collection that I found for you. Thank you. Who's the Batman?